Alright, here we are. Crater Lake Rim. Ready to start hiking. Alrighty. Now we've done the the one mile discovery trail. Now the rim trail. We camped over on that side of the road by a water cache because we weren't allowed to camp along the rim trail of the PCT, well, of Crater Lake Rim Trail, the PCT alternate. Anyway, so we camped over there next to the water cache. And now we're headed north again. She did a small amount of backtracking a couple hundred yards to uh, get to the water cache. So this is what we're hiking on this morning. It's really nice and flat and just have to go over the occasional blowdown. I wanted to tell you about yesterday. I did not record much video. I apologize. Part of that is because it is not all fun and games out here. And there are days where you just don't feel it. And we did not feel it yesterday. We were just, we hung out for too long in the... <laughs> In a, in a dining room charging our stuff because we didn't feel like going on going out hiking and then we went out hiking on the rim trail and the lake was absolutely amazingly beautiful and and wonderful but there's a lot of ups and downs on the rim trail a lot of steep stuff and we were both really tired and our legs were just dead and we were just dragging butt all day long I like to say sometimes that gra some days gravity pulls harder than others and yesterday was one of those days because <laughs> I was hiking along yesterday and I could have swore somebody put a bowling ball in my backpack because <laughs> it felt a lot heavier <laughs> than normal <laughs> even allowing for the extra food Anyway, so now we're wearing our mosquito head nets because we were walking through walls of mosquitoes. And the mosquito head nets are, they have their own pain in the butt part because you get all hot and sweaty underneath them. <laughs> but it's better than mosquitoes in your eyeballs. <laughs> Hiking on. Well, we're back on trail this morning. We spent last night at a Nice little area with a couple of picnic tables and a pit toilet, and it was lovely. We uh, camped a ways away from the water cache that you'll get to see here in a bit. So we had to walk up to the water cache and back, but it was worth it. Okay, we've been climbing for quite a while and so we're we've come up and we have a view but you can't see it at the moment I gotta take you a few more steps forward on trail here but I thought I'd better do some recording here because it wouldn't be fair if we got to see the view and you guys never got to so there we are. 
a lovely view. <laughs> the mountains have some snow on them too. And down there is Diamond Lake. In its entirety. Some of which is hidden behind the trees for you guys, but we can see the whole lake. Very pretty. And you guys should see it too. And now, Mount Thielson, which is very imposing in person. It's really, really nice. Amazing. And then we're going up some more here. On up the trail. Just keep finally liking these views though. We were, we were coming up the hill and got up here and you just get these unexpected views. And this ended up being quite the spot. And this here is the closest best view we have had of Mount Thielson yet. And then I thought, since I got the view of the back side of Mount Thielson, I would let you guys get to see the back side of Mount Thielson. It's pretty flippin' awesome. Yep. All right, then we're just hiking down some switchbacks. We're heading for Thielson Creek, which we can currently hear. We haven't decided where we're going to camp tonight. We hung out for a while on top of the mountain, visiting with some hikers and taking in the view and the fact that we actually had phone service for a little bit. <laughs> this is one of those situations where, see how these rocks are right here? These rocks are here to tell the PCT hikers that that is not the PCT. <laughs> and we just keep right on going down this way. And this is where we got to get water. So pretty here. And the snow up above is where the Water's coming out, but it's just so pretty here. And we camped way up on that hill. With the view of the back side of Mount Thielson. And here's our trail this morning. It's been nice and shady and fairly flat. Other than the mosquitoes, it's been quite a pleasant morning. As long as we don't stand still too long though, they're not swarming too bad. Well, we have another great view here, but uh, we can't stay still because the mosquitoes are swarming. <laughs> and we don't want to put our head nets on that gummit. They hold a surprising amount of heat in. Plus, you can't drink through them, and it's really hard to wipe the sweat off your face. <laughs> ah, these are my complaints for today. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Be beautiful. Here's a nice view. Hiking through this meadow. Through this all meadow. This little trail and then 
lots of flies and or pollinators buzzing around. <laughs> so I was asked to show what we're eating out here. And so I have a particularly nice um, lunch concoction I wanted to show you. We have the pulled pork, and then we have the uh, Parmesan cheese on top of that, and then we have put some honey barbecue twists from Frito-Lay. So I think it's gonna be tasty. And Frack is having the same lunch basically, except he is having fajita chicken and chili cheese Fritos with his Parmesan cheese and tortillas. Yummy lunch. Okay, we just stopped and had lunch in among these trees and in the shade at the Oregon Washington High Point of the PCT at 7,560 feet. So, the rest of the elevation will be lower. <laughs> but, it will not all be downhill from here. Although today, we get a nice chunk of downhill. We're getting a view of this. Between the trees. It's a pretty cool looking little mountain. You can see way off into the distance. And our trail. views. And this is Maydew Lake. Which we stopped here for water because we read on far out that the next water source had a really steep trail down to it and in Jackie McDonald's book from night from 2019 it was recommended to get water here and skip that spring it's only 12.4 miles to the water cache what a beautiful lake all right this is our trail this morning been hiking through the trees been nice and shaded but I see breaking the trees ooh which will be a possible view and I can see it's a lake is it a lake I think it's a lake <laughs> oh my goodness that is quite pretty that must be Miller Lake We came to an intersection yesterday and we could have gone to Maydew Lake or Miller Lake and we decided Maydew Lake because it was closer. But this is a very pretty lake. Yes, it is. So we're climbing up this hill, which I think you might be able to tell it's kind of like we're hanging off the side of a mountain as we get up here. But I see another view coming. I do, I do. And I wanted to share it with you guys. I don't like those rocks when we have to hike across those rocks, but 
We're going to be doing that in a minute too. <laughs> uh. Oh, and of course it's uphill. Oh, lovely. Anyway. <laughs> oh. I don't have a big view yet. We got a view. Yeah. Some stuff to see. Ah, that doesn't look fun. Oh well. And here's you a little view. We uh, thought we were going to get a view a minute ago on the other side, but the trees were in the way. <laughs> we could see just enough to tell that there was a lovely view on the other side. <laughs> And we had a lot of lovely walking in the shade this morning. And then we get some exposed sunny areas for a bit. I mean, it's, you know, it's that time of day where the sun is pretty much straight up. <laughs> Beautiful day, though. There's some smoke rolling in and we and some other hikers have discussed it. We think it's from a fire between Agnes and Grant's Pass, but uh, we don't know. So we're asking some people back home to find out exactly where all these fires are burning in Oregon so we know if there's anything we need to avoid. Actually, I'm taking a video. This is apparently where the fire, where a fire is. So for breakfast this morning, um, Frack and I are sharing some Idahoan four cheese mashed potatoes. Cold, he's having his in the bag and I'm having mine in my cup. So cold mashed potatoes for breakfast. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, here we are at the top of this hill. Not much view, lots of smoke. We can see a little lake down there. The smoke isn't really annoying. It's not, you know, you can see it, but I'm not really smelling it or noticing it much. So, but since that, the fire that I believe it's coming from is contained. It should stop being smoky soon. Probably not today though. <laughs> Another view. This one we can actually see a little better because the smoke's a little thinner. I uh, have heard from some other hikers that that smoke may also be coming from the Agnes fire, the flat fire over near Agnes. So I don't know, but as of yesterday, there was one uncontained fire burning and that's the one at Agnes. And I guess it's 16,000 this morning. <sighs> I hope they can get that taken care of and here we go again with a view <laughs> a little less smoky at the moment that's good we're uh, trying to get to the top of this hill and then we're planning on taking a break because we are beat we got sweat running in our eyeballs and the whole nine yards so we want to take a little break get some water and cool off a minute. And here's the view on the other side of the mountain, the other side of the ridge that we're on. And the trail. We're still working on getting to the top, but we had to stop and look at the view there. Plus I'm pretty happy about the cool breezes that are blowing right now, thank God. We always love the cool breezes. Those are the best. 
Now that we got to the top, we get a view of, I believe, Diamond Peak. And we reached the top, but we have not found a likely place to rest. So we look for a little flat ground, maybe a log or a rock to sit on, or a place to lay our foam pads and uh, just relax for a minute. And if there's a cool breeze, it's a big bonus. <laughs> yeah, well, he stayed last night at Summit Lake, right, right here, right next to this nasty pit toilet. He's full. And uh, there's Frack. And, but we stayed next to the lake, and the lake is very pretty. Lots of mosquitoes, though. My sciatic nerve is being mean to me this morning. So we're going to try walking the road because maybe the road will be a little easier. See about getting to Shelter Cove today or tomorrow because we have a reservation for tomorrow. But yes, the lake was very pretty and very nice. And lots of mosquitoes. <laughs> so here we are at Shelter Cove. And last night we stayed in the PCT area, and tonight we got a cabin. And uh, it's a cute little cabin. It's got a kitchen and a TV, which we're pretty sure is only for videos. A full-size refrigerator. And let's get some light on this subject. A cute little bathroom with a very tiny shower, but hey, it's a shower. And uh, we're going to manage to wash our clothes in it. So we are very privileged to have this cabin tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 